513 in the morning. Yeah, and like Jasmine said, we are keeping people weather aware because we do have the potential of some strong storms, even some flash flooding. Going to turn it over to meteorologist Whitney Huddleston. Whitney, good morning. Yes, good morning everyone. We are waking up weather aware and definitely keep your head on a swivel. I would say from noon onwards today. We already have some light activity and thunderstorms on the radar and lots going on to talk about the next few minutes, most of which I will talk about today. Uh, flood watch is already out. Pretty much all of our viewing area could see an inch plus. Some of us maybe over three inches of rain today on an already saturated ground. You know what that means. Flash flooding likely to be ongoing, especially east of the interstate where there's still some river flood uh, warnings near Center Centerville, Fairfield, Grossbeck, Corsicana, essentially east of I-35. A lot of uh, waterways are still right at their banks. So any any initial storms this morning may already cause ongoing flooding and then very heavy activity anticipated later on into this afternoon. All right, so right now in Temple, it's just mostly cloudy. It feels like it's about to rain. It is balmy, humid and warm essentially across the Union area, including here in Temple where we're nearly 70 degrees already. Winds out of the southeast pumping in that super humid air that we're all familiar with after the past few weeks. Of course, Waco to Dallas. There is some light activity already this morning. I say light. You're going to hear rumbles of thunder, maybe waking up to it, even hearing it and seeing it in Waco. I know across Bell County. I went from Salado Belt into Temple this morning and could see it. It was very tall thunderstorms and was thinking, OK, that looks like it's pretty far off. Um, and it is. It's north of Waco and east of Waco right now. I'm going to zoom in and show you who is getting the rainfall. It is not severe quite yet, though. This is actually pretty light activity, but we have such a moisture moisture rich atmosphere right now and the mechanics in there to see some pretty heavy activity later on into this afternoon ahead of Sunrise Hillsboro, Corsicana, Mejia Fairfield. Essentially, it's continuing to train already. When I say train, um, I mean the certain areas potentially are going to see these thunderstorms pop up and then just sit over their area with more and more forming. That's exactly what's happening near Hillsborough pointing essentially off towards the east right now. These thunderstorms aren't really going anywhere. Um, so again, flooding is the big threat for today. That's the main threat, but definitely not the only one. Likely we have a very busy afternoon and evening ahead. Let's fast forward and show you what it's going to do. So this morning I just showed you current radar. We're essentially going to see lighter activity and not severe weather quite yet through the morning hours. Fast forward to just after lunchtime, likely especially in the northern portions of our viewing area. I'm talking Comanche to Hillsboro to Corsicana and could include Waco. We start to see some heavier bouts of thunderstorms popping up, moving essentially west to east. Fast forward to four or five o'clock when you pick your kiddos up or come home from work. This could potentially be what the radar looks like. This could be severe weather. I'm talking gusty winds in excess of 60 miles an hour, brief heavy downpours, flash flooding, lightning. Yes, there is a hail and isolated tornado threat this afternoon through dinner tonight, especially when we typically do see the severe thunderstorms uh, associated with the frontal boundary. That's not the only round of rain. Likely we have the heavy downpours with the activity that moves through this afternoon through dinner, but then late tonight there's still going to be some isolated thunderstorms moving across the viewing area. So multiple rounds of rain on an already saturated ground. Flooding again is the primary threat, but severe weather possible as well. It moves out tomorrow and I do have good news after that for the weekend very likely to see a lot of sunshine and hot weather. This is a second model essentially showing the same thing, so we're very confident. Multiple rounds of rain, especially in the afternoon to late evening hours today. And some of us, this particular model showing one, two, three plus inches, especially east of I-35. We are now, as of this morning, under a level three risk for severe weather today, especially in the PM hours. Please follow along with us today, by the way. Uh, we're going to be on our KCEN app all day doing live streams covering these storms. And then look at this seven day forecast 90s and sunny and pretty much let's just go straight to summer.